What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a Crimbus Miracle. Miracle Draft. Crimbus Miracle Draft. Nailed it. Never never didn't have it. So... Oh, let me reset these things. Fresh. Kudoki. And <clears throat> kind of like Fable of the Mirror Breaker here as a first pick. That card's busted. Dark Ritual, also good. Uh, Triple Good Titan is nice because it sets us up for things. I think we're just taking Fable. Fable is just a really, really ridiculous magic card. And then what are they giving us? Vampiric Tutor. That's pretty good. Vampiric Tutor is any card in your deck. If you ever like, what card, what card in my deck do I want to draw? You could just draw any of them with Vampiric Tutor. You just get them all. I'm going to take... That's that's a reason for me to take it. I do love a good black-red. <clears throat> Thought Seize is a, is, a, is a banger. Vile Smasher could also be ridiculous again. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. You can tell because when you're when your body's like keep chugging, just uh it tells you something, you know. Huh. Interesting. I'm very tempted to take Vile Smasher because it's just a cool new card. But Thoughtseize is pretty bananas. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Thoughtseize and hope the Vile Smasher comes back. Does that sound reasonable? What's up, champ? Got Huntsy over here. Savai so Triome. <clears throat> Sword of the Meek, though. Ooh. <sighs> Interesting. Do we hope for the Thopter Foundry? That would put us into blue more than red. Savai so Triome is also a dual land for black and red. Fire Covenant is also really good, and we passed a Toxic Deluge already. I think I'm just going to take Fire Covenant here. Scalding Tarn? Oh, Necromancy, though. Hmm. And we already have Fable. Yeah, we're going to take Necromancy here. All right. These have been some good picks so far. Blood Crypt? Sure, I'll take a Blood Crypt. Alternative is Fallen Shinobi, Sensei's Top, Oliphant. I think I'd just rather have a Blood Crypt with our mana, with our, uh, with our current choices here. This is a pretty solid start, I think. Oh. All right, what do we got here? Wheel of Fortune. That's interesting. Also, Troll and Marsh Flats. Interesting. I don't know if we're wheeling. I, I really only like wheel effects when I have ways to punish my opponents for the same wheel effects. And often those are blue. Hellbreacher, Narset, Leovold, etc. I think Troll is actually pretty good here, especially with reanimation things. And... Ophiomancer is okay. I don't care about Duretti, really, or Creeping Tar Pit. Actually, we'll take the Blood Tithe Harvester. I'd rather have a 2-drop than another 3-drop here. Plus the blood token's nice. I was actually hoping Trumpeting Carnosaur came back, but also Dark Ritual? Jeez, that's weird. I'm actually taking the Carn... Ugh, it's Dark Ritual, though. Shit. It's gotta be Dark Ritual. I, I don't know. Like, I want the Carnosaur because it's a cool card to play. But Dark Ritual is just Dark Ritual. I 
Oh, Mary Jungle Miss. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what. I don't know what that means. All right. I mean, this is another weird situation where I have nine cards and they're all playable and they're all going to make the deck, so... Goblet Shrine. I don't hate a Goblet Shrine. Don't think it's Dragon's Rage Channeler. Yeah. I think we're just taking Goblet Shrine in case we want to splash something. Move those to the old side, Bizzle. Oh, Vile Smasher came back. Ha <laughs> ha, exactly what we wanted. That's pretty sick. And the Savai Triome came back. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. I don't... I... Uh, 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 sure, I'll take a Timeless Dragon. Yeah, this is... Spy Triumph was pretty good there. Spy Triumph and Goblet Shrine make it very easy to splash white now, so that's pretty nice. One more card. That's actually playable. And I am tempted to put Fire Coming in the sideboard, but. Oh, what up, Uber? Uh, Brace Brennis. Shieldred? Probably Shieldred. Shieldred is a pick one. Hull Breacher and Fast Bond are also very good. Not in our colors. I do like a Palace Jailer, but I'm not going to take a double white card for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's just Shieldred. Pretty easy choice. Mana Vault. Oh no, we could have done it. We would have had no fixing for this whatsoever. Yeah, that's sad. It is going the other way now. So, I'm going to take Mana Vault. Because that's pretty good. That's a turn two shouldered. Haunted Ridge. Oh, there's an Atali. That's pretty good. I think we're taking the Atali and hoping either Torok or Haunted Ridge comes back. Thank you. Oh, Uber with 10 ridiculous gifted subs. Oh my god. Merry Chrysler. Uber, thank you so thank much, you. buddy. Oh my god. What an actual saint. And now Uber, Uber has just beaten MTG Pyro in the gifted sub lead. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Thank you. Oh, man. You are awesome, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, this is a... This Thank is a you. Lexus December to Remember family, okay? Thank you. Ooh, Archon of Cruelty? I was going to take Sneak Attack, but then Archon of Cruelty is like literal top tier reanimate sneak target. So, like... I'd rather have this guy and hope this comes back because right now we can still reanimate pretty effectively with our one necromancy. We also have a vampiric tutor. That's two reanimate spells and we'll get more because no one else has taken these cards, clearly. Thank You're the best. Thank you. Well, that's an Entomb, which is exactly what we wanted. That's pretty insane. Thank you. Okie dokie. Well, all right. The reanimate deck's coming together. Ex ex extremely well. Exquemely well. 
There's a, there's a Yogi. There's a Windswept Heath, which doesn't really get anything for us. Ancient Tomb could be interesting. Scrapwork Mutt also puts things in the trash can. I hate to take a Scrapwork Mutt over an Ancient Tomb, but it might be correct. There's no way that's correct, right? We got an ancient tomb. That feels correct. Uh, let's take an exhum. Easy choice. I love Mystic Confluence. I like Stoneforge. Gut was really good when we played him, but again, exhum is like we're just getting all the perfect things. Simply, uh, Mutt, I mean, like there was, I think there was nine cards in that pack, so it's very unlikely that that Scrapwork Mutt is the last card in the pack. Uh, through the breach, it, I, I want to take Ashen Rider here, but I think through the breach is probably better. Like especially if we get Eldrazi, like there's still a whole pack of. I think there's far more. Um, Looks like let's call them targets. Then there are enablers like this. Uh, I don't hate Ugin with Mana Vault and Dark Ritual. I'm just going to take the Ugin here. Um, Baleful Mastery is good. Let's take a Baleful Mastery. Sure. Oh, the Haunted Ridge came back exactly like we wanted. That's fantastic. So now we have Survive Haunted Ridge and Blood Crypt. Well, that's pretty good. Feeling good about our lands and our deck. Oh, boy. Stop it. Get some help. That's unreal. That's absolutely unreal. Especially with Dark Ridge Vault. Uh, Woodfall Prime is actually pretty good. Now we have Sneaking Through the Reach. Sure. If the Mutt comes back, our deck is basically done. <laughs> Come on, little Mutt. Hey, I'll take an Overgrown. What the hell? What the hell, you know? Yep. Gut last pick. That's interesting. I would really love one Eldrazi. Make it Emrakul. I think we're just taking life death here. I don't love recurring nightmare. Um, don't care about Lotus Petal really. Yeah, that's, I mean, this is a pretty sad pack. Life death is probably the only option for us, unfortunately. So these are our big fat daddies. Fat daddies. Check it and see. I actually love a Grief. Grief is very good, especially if we're trying to go off. We can just play Grief for free and then kill them. Go off then. Okay. Now we have an Arid Mesa, which I think is actually pretty good. It gets a Godless, Blood Crypt, or Savai Triome. And it also fixes our white if we just want to add like a Plains, which we wouldn't need to. Um... I do like Grave Titan. I think I'd rather have the fixing. I think I think our deck is very, very good, and if anything, we're missing fixing. <sighs> wow, why do these, what? <laughs> no! Mind Twist, Reanimate, and Demonic Tutor in the same pack. Thank you. Come on. Jeez. Anyone got a gift sub? Uber, thank you for the gifted sub to Kyers. <laughs> really appreciate it. It's got to be. Fuck. I would actually consider taking Demonic Tutor, but we already have Vampiric Tutor. 
I think we're good on reanimates. I think it's just mind twist. I mean, I'm taking mind twist because we also have mana vault and dark ritual, which is just makes it so much better. I wonder if Massacre Girl... Massacre Girl's got to be pretty good, right? If they have a couple of creatures, it just kills them all. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. I like Molten Collapse here. Um, Corpse Dance is fine. I, man, I can't believe we're not getting like an Eldrazi. This is really sad. I'll take a Molten Collapse. I'll take an Othari and just play Othari with our Arid Mesa, Godless Shrine, Savai Triome. Nothing, huh? Oh, Bitter Triumph is good. And it's a discard outlet. Yeehaw. Big yeehaws. Alright, this is our 26 card deck. I'm going to Fire Covenant in the sideboard. Probably Masker Girl in the sideboard. I really wish we got one Eldrazi. One big fat idiot Eldrazi. I think we'll just take Contagion. I don't know. For the sideboard. For the SB. I don't think we even saw a single Eldrazi. We might have. I'm sure someone in the chat's going to be like, You did, it was in back one. Back pick four. It was a big fat Eldrazi. And Dotha Triumph is another Plains Swampland. I do not think we're doomsdaying. Yeah, I'll just take the Triumph. Makes this Othari. Wow, the Grave Titan came back. Good gravy. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a guy I can just cast. Oh my god, the reanimate came back. What? It's like a 14th pick Yogwill? 15th pick Tendrils? What? It was like 13th pick reanimate? Oh my god. See, like, I honestly don't think Vile Smasher fits here. Man, this looks, this deck looks good, though. Jeez, I cannot believe the Reanimate came back. We got Reanimate and Mind Twist from that pack. That's un unbelievable. Okay, so as far as, like, removal goes, we have Baleful Mastery, Molten Collapse, Bitter Triumph. I don't think we're Vile Smashering. Um, like, I think we can actually cut Baleful Mastery. I think Molten Collapse and Bitter Triumph are better. I don't think I can cut any of these one drops. I think they're all stellar. Uh, Exhume, Death, Reanimate, and Necromancer are all fantastic. For discard outlets, we have Entomb, Bitter Triumph, uh, the Blood Tar Tithe Harvester Token, and Fable. I could I could see playing 16 lands with Troll and Mana Vault and Dark Ritual. That feels correct. And we have Ancient Tomb. Alright. This deck looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I love that. I was like, they're gonna add a, they're gonna add a white or a, a green rather. We have one white card. We have Arid Mesa, Godless Shrine, and Dotha and Savai Triumph. So four white sources. We could also reanimate Othari, which I think is pretty good. So I don't think we actually need a white source. 
Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Okay, we'll say that's okay for now. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ten, seven. And this is four, five, six, seven. We actually get two more. Okay, we'll go eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Versus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe we could just play one white. That that can't be right. Yeah, this seems good. Okay, we have an issue. <laughs> you guys are single-handedly getting me the holiday through the holiday season with these gifted subs, man. God, I fucking <laughs> I'm teaching Pyro with the ten more gifted subs. You know, let me tell you something. The worst thing about gifted subs is one month from now on January twenty second when they all drop off, and then I'm like. Where did all the subs go? It's Thank sad. You. It's bittersweet, you know? Don't mourn that they're gone. Be glad that they happened, you know? Okay, MTG Thank Pyro you. on the lead again. <laughs> MTG Pyro, Uber, you guys are both amazing. I really, really appreciate you both. Thank you, guys. Oh, man. Oh. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well, ten more. Thank you. Okie dokie. Pizza time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, my God. I will say yes. Where? Thank you. This is an interesting hand. If we hit in tomb, we're just way ahead, right? Oh my god. I'm trying to ignore all the thank yous. Thank you. You guys are amazing. I truly love you all. Thank you. 25, huh? Okie dokie. <laughs> well, now I'm going to mute thank the Twitch you. alerts. Because... That's not going to be reasonable or enjoyable for anyone. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Oh, you're still going to make noises. Okay. I have to quickly mute them when they pop up, I guess. Thank you. Oh, desktop audio has to go. Okay. That's the one. Oh, let me make sure I play my land here. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh, it's still going. Can you guys hear it? Maybe not. I think it's just here. I think I can just hear it. I honestly don't even know where the noise comes from, to be honest. I said honest twice in that sentence. I'm really flustered because you guys just don't need like 50 subs. Totally normal thing to do. Wow. That's ridiculous. That's really absolutely ridiculous. Dude, MCG Pyro and Uber, you guys are both fucking saints, dude. Holy shit. I didn't want you to hear it. That was the point. I think it's going to be terrible for all the viewers on like YouTube who are like, make the thank you stop. I can still hear it though, for what that's worth. All right, we need a red source stat. I will also take an entomb next turn. Red source or entomb? I think we have a lot of those. They're going to give us a survive triumph, aren't they? If I donate 20 more, we'll be died. <laughs> You know, uh, that's true. Sure is true. Look, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to force you to do anything. Okay, I, I am clearly a biased third party. My third party, my first party. I don't even know which party I'd be. However, please don't feel obligated, unless the war really means that much to you. Okay, we sort. Yeah, that's because it's still coming out of my desk. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, now. <sighs> well, on the bright side. 
I just picked one of these up today. It's funny because I have two Elgato Keylight Minis, and they work great. I really like Elgato products. They're not a sponsor. But every time I'm done streaming, I have a, I have like a raging headache, and my eyes are super strained because the lights kind of bounce into them. Right now, I've changed them so they're kind of angled up, which is why it's, it's a little darker but still a little lit. So I went to Best Buy to pick up a Logitech Lytra Beam which is like this 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 longer light. I, I, I've heard it's softer. And I'm going to put it on top of my monitor, which is a lot higher. So you guys definitely just helped me pay for that, which is pretty sweet. And it's going back to like the content. So, you know, that's kind of cool. That feels good. <sighs> Fuck, you guys are awesome, dude. Oh, that's such a good draw. That was the draw we wanted. So I think we, God, we can, I want to pitch Othari, but like we can just cast it if we wait two turns, you know? Are they going to kill this little guy? Oh. Well, that's pretty good. Why did, I didn't even see that. I was so distracted with the light and the thing. I would have just reanimated that. Oh my God. I can't believe no one told me. No one even told me that I could have reanimated that. That's hilarious. Wow. See, like, okay, I might lose the game. But I've definitely won the stream, so that's important, right? Jeez. It's still it's still saying thank you. I don't know how to stop it. I could have reanimated that. Wow, I, I could have had a Grave Titan. That's hilarious. Oh. That's fascinating. Yes. Oh wow. What if I what if I entomb reanimate? I think we just get rid of sneak attack and Othari. And then we can oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that right? The thank yous, the thank yous do haunt my dreams. I say it in real life now. I'm like, thank you. Okay, that's interesting. If I play Ancient Tomb, like we're going to take a lot of damage here, but then we're going to gain some back with Othari, and I'm pretty sure we're getting... I think we need the double black. We do. We need three black sources. So we actually go in Tomb... Let's get, I mean, obviously Archon of Cruelty. Thank you. Give me that Archon of Cruelty, baby. Thank you. Okay. You got it. Uh, let's cast Death on Archon of Cruelty. I will get this guy back regardless of what you want to do. So, And they have one card, which is nice. Still getting thanked. Still thanked. So much thanks. <laughs> Still thanking you. <laughs> Still going. And that's how he went crazy. I get to draw a card too. Oh, a grief? Interesting. Oh, they had to pitch a necromancy. That's exciting. I bet they were like, ooh, cool, I can get your guy next turn. <laughs> no, don't do that. Thank you. Thank you. Man, it's too bad it's too bad our reflection of Kiki Jiki doesn't have haste. Thank you. They say legend has it to this day he's still thanking you. Thank you. Well, they got a plus Dak here. I'm actually just taking six. If they draw like a Shieldred's Edict, I don't want to have to not have a creature to sacrifice. So. 
And then next turn we can actually just play Ancient. We should we just play Grave Titan off of Ancient Tomb. So they have to find a card, and they have three lands to do it. Faithless looting and entomb. We have an Othari, which is unfortunate. If they oh, they just interesting. Okay. <laughs> this happens every time. Whenever they have no cards in hand, we're drawing grief, we're drawing mind twist, we're drawing thought seize. Oh my god, thank you. You have to sacrifice a rebel. Tap an untapped rebel. I do not have a rebel. <sighs> Unfortunately, we do have to attack Dak. Which sucks because, like, they'll just sacrifice it. But... Oh my god, I need the thank yous to stop. I need the thank yous to stop! Oh, reanimate. Oh. Oh, that's a fancy one. Well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna Grave Titan here. And next turn we can get back Othari. Uh, one, two, three, four. Welcome to top deck mode. Next turn we get to actually reflections this guy, so I'm pretty sure this game is over. Unless they just have something, but no, that's that's it. They're done. <laughs> no, thank you, Uber and MTG Myra. No. No. It just kind of sounds like someone sneezing in the background. Over and over and over. Okay, so they're reanimating and we're reanimating. So that's fun. I'm actually not sure what's good against them now. Baleful Mastery, maybe? Oh, boy. Like, we have Through the Breach and Sneak Attack... I feel like that's good. We also have Thought Seize and Mind Twist. I feel like our deck has to be better, but I don't know. They have Force of Negation. That's a good one. Um, This is interesting. Oh, this hand is so awkward. If we were able to go Mana Vault on turn one... This is a turn two Othari, but we don't have a way to get red and white, I don't think. Wow. I think we can go get God we can go get Blood Crypt, but we don't have a white source. That's so that's so frustrating. I mean, we can go get Blood Crypt, play Thoughtseize, or... Ma I, we can play Mana Vault and just hope to hit a... We can also get Godless Shrine. We already have a... Bl we have a white. We'd rather have a red attached than a black. I'm going to keep this hand. The hand is good. If we draw, like, Blood Crypt or Godless Shrine, then we just get it. A Tali. I guess we're going to 15... It's definitely Bloody Crypt. I think it's actually Mana Vault here. That feels correct. If we happen to get Godless Shrine, then we get to do it. We could have also got Godless Shrine to do this and then hope to draw a white source. That's not it. That's not it. So let's thought seize. Okay. Frantic search. 
Uh, definitely just getting frantic search here. Everything else is kind of meh. So that's good. Play this with the intent of going for it next turn. One, two, three, four, five. We could also, um, if we draw Ancient Tomb or Dark Ritual, we can just Atali next turn, which is pretty cool. So we got two live draws for an Atali. That guy's gone. We don't, you don't need blue sources, so you can't actually... Oh, through the breach. Well, that's fascinating, isn't it? That feels kind of correct. Because then they just untap and Blood Chief's Thirst are... There are, um... Our Othari. So we're not getting a ton of value off that. But actually we can search for a land to make sure we can we can do the we can bring this guy back. That actually seems pretty good. Yeah, let's just do that. I personally have breached Atali. It's happened. We did it. So now I assume they're going to play land. What land did they play last turn? They played Swamp. So we do know they have Island and Mountain. So we know these four cards plus the two they've drawn. Dude, Uber and MTG Pyro, you guys are friggin' amazing. I really appreciate both of you. That's insane. Exhum. That's perfect. Wow. <laughs> we get to swamp cycle this guy. <laughs> they were like, oh, you're going to get a guy too? All right, forget it. That's hilarious. Wow, what a match that was. Even, even though we forgot to reanimate their Grave Titan, we still won both games. Hello, my dear. Babe, are you leaving? Are you on your way home? Oh, okay. She is. She says she's leaving. One minute ago. All right, I think this deck is probably one of the best reanimator decks we've drafted. I also picked up at the at the uh, the suggestion of of Josh Garner, uh, Shua Garner, Midnight Suns for PS Five. It was twenty dollars on sale, so I was like, you know what, that's a that's a price I can get behind. It's gotten very good reviews, so I was like, twenty bucks isn't like nothing. That's like used to spend that on a meal at McDonald's nowadays. And it says enhanced edition. And I was like, oh, I like things that are enhanced. So I got around some holiday errands. Dude, Uber, thank you so much, dude. Unbelievable, man. Really appreciate you. As soon as you leave, MCG Pyro is like, now that he's gone. <laughs> it is my time to shine. I'll keep this. Yeah, when uh, when we were at my bachelor party, we were drafting the cube, and Super Fritz was there, and Super Fritz briberied my Atali, and then what did you hit off of that? Because it was absolutely disgusting. Was it like Emrakul or something? You hit something absolutely busted off of it, like Golos maybe. I don't know. It was something really good. I think you got two good hits off of off of my Atali. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna turn the Twitch alerts back on because I think it's safe. Interesting. So this is we can kill this with mind collapse. Because obviously they're trying to do some shenanigans. Upkeep, we can Vampiric Tutor for Entomb, and then we can just reanimate Atali. So that seems pretty cool. Oh, Nicol Bolas. Because, <laughs> of course, I should have taken a photo of that. That was a ridiculous board state. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Oh, this is a... Oh my god, you're counting this and not the... Fascinating. Okay. I mean, now it's in the graveyard, though, so that's a interesting choice. I don't know. I probably would have counted the Entomb, personally. When there's no creatures in the graveyard, like, it's significantly safer than, like, hoping I don't have another reanimate spell. Okay, one land. Give me a land next turn. Got it. This guy's gonna get it in there. Oh, he's getting in there. Love it. All right. Otharis and Atalis, the legendary dinosaur stories. That's a phoenix, not a dinosaur. Okay, we just win. One Othari <laughs> gets it done. All right, well, not going to argue with that. That card's, I mean, like, unless you can deal with both Othari and the first rebel... It's just going to keep coming back. We saw basically nothing. We saw Magda and Chrome Mox. I'm going to get this for Katie so she can put Watson and Wally on her desk. Interesting. This seems good. We have Through the Breach for Atali. We have Reanimate for anything that goes to the graveyard. We have a Molten Collapse. So nice and early. We got a White Source to cast this guy. This hand, it needs a couple things, but the things we need are not super hard to hit. So I'm just going to go for it. We're going to keep it. Also, I absolutely, I'm going to say it, I absolutely hate Chrome Mox. Yep, hate it. I just don't think it's good. Like, having to pitch an actual spell in your hand is just so much worse than having to pitch, like, a land. Sure. Got a little demo. Oh, Arid Mesa. That's fascinating. Well, we're still going to lead with Triome, but now we can actually play Arid Mesa turn two and not have either of these come into play tapped. So it does give us Molten Collapse. I'm actually very curious what they would have gotten with Demonic Tutor when they have two black sources. Oh, they're just getting like a... What if I cycle this guy and then just try to reanimate it? I mean, is that good enough? It sure feels fine. Uh, I think it's just Blood Crypt here. I think we're just getting a Swamp. I don't really feel like... We need, yeah, that seems fine. Can I reanimate? No. Oh, yes. Yes. We're getting very close to through the breach here. That's sad. Oh, it's Holly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, we do get to kill it. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. 
So I'm, I faced like two reanimate decks in a row, basically. Great. What did you hit of mine? Blood Tithe Harvester and Dothy Voidwalker. Mm, that's not great, but fine, I guess. Uh, it's a lot of lot of damage. Dark Ritual. Woodfall Primus. God, having to just like slum it here with normal. If only I had my reanimate still, you know? Okay. Well, they have two. <laughs> they have six power, so we go to five here. Through the Breach does not keep anything on board, unfortunately. Did I miss a land drop? No, I hit Haunted Ridge, right? Yeah, they're on the play. We didn't miss no, we didn't miss no land drops. They're going to they're gonna Blood Token here, because... Yep. Necromancy. Mana Vault. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, we're one shy of, like, casting Atali. We can cast Othari. Goes to eight. We could also through the breach Atali. Which doesn't guarantee anything. We take seven next turn and Othari puts us to one. Like they have to have an answer for Othari. God, what's safer? If we hit Archon of Cruelty, this is definitely better. Three, four, five. We could also Woodfall Primus, but that seems worse. This feels better if they don't have a removal spell for it. Because then we go to one. And then we can start gaining more life every turn. We do have to find a way to kill this guy. Because this guy actually puts us... We take six and go to two. Then we go to one from Mana Vault. We gain three. Take three. And then die to Mana Vault. So we do have to find... A land on the top. Or Othari just needs to get bigger. <laughs> get bigger, Othari. If Othari could be a 4-4 next turn. They're also at 8. So if we can actually through the Breach next turn, I think we have a good shot of, of something. What do they get rid of? A land and a Kaito. Okay. They still have one card, so we're just not... We're going to two. Do we die? Do we die? Are we dead? Yes. We are likely dead now. Alright. Well, we needed that life. Land. Yes. Okay. Wait, they're just dead to Atali and through the breach, aren't they? Oh my god. No, we don't pay for Mandeville. We kill them. Come on. <laughs> oh, are we doing it? Could have also been Woodfall Primus. But a top no, actually this one this one only seven damage. Um do we want to cast Exhum? What do they have? Atali? No, we're not casting Exhum. Oh, I was just gonna cast Urtai and kill our own mana vault, so yeah, that's 
That's a that's a two o four o. That's how you're doing it. That's how we that's how we drew it up. Yeah. Uh, so Woodfall Primus is only five, and the token is two. No, Woodfall Primus is a six six, isn't he? And then he's a five five on the on the return. But they're at eight, so we needed actually all of the damage. Oh, snap! Keep this. I don't think we're turn two fabling. I don't think the one mana, the the one turn discount, is worth uh, tapping our mana vault. I think we just get Savai Triome here. Man, it's always so sad to play a Mana Vault on turn one and then not have anything to use with it. That's a bummer. Crack it. <laughs> In response. Uh, this is my triumph is all the colors, yes. That's a good one. Love getting swamps. Get swamped. Um, let's get second red. They can't, yeah, I'm like, they can't activate Mox Opal here, so. Plus, if they wanted to, like, make us pay, I would probably tap Mana Vault to, like, counter a Mana Leak or a Spell Pierce. Seems good. Doesn't really do much, but. Seems good. Sure. Bounce our Goblin. Yeah, that's sad. I, I hope we draw our kind of cruelty here. Because <laughs> we're definitely pitching. Well, we're pitching two lands unless we draw a big creature, but. No. Dark ritual, huh? Yes. Pitch and pitch. <laughs> really? <laughs> This is our hand. Exhume, sneak, ritual, death. I guess we'll just play a sneak attack to put the fear in them. All right. Actually, we don't have a green source. We would have needed the Endotha Triumph, but we could have actually lifed to kill Jace, which would have been nice. Jace is pretty good. Time walking to Jace makes total sense. Like, what is this Mox Opal doing in here, though? This is... And we looked too deeper. This hand was really good. Lead with Mana Vault and then just have nothing to do with it for the rest of the game. That's that's a bummer. Yep, that's good. Now your Mox Opal's online. I liked it better when it wasn't online. Yep, this is going, going very well. They got a Tuck Sneak Attack, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. There's no way you leave a Sneak Attack on the board. Alright, here's the draw. You ready? Archon of Cruelty. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Big Rich. 
Unfortunately, they have to sack this. If they didn't have this stupid Thraven Inspector, they would have to sack one of the good cards. Yeah, that's a bummer. Sure. Well, now they can still just bounce it with Jace, but we do get to keep Kiki Jiki. Yeah, draw your card before you start making your plays. Treachery! If they treachery this guy, I'm pretty sure I just scoop here. Oh, God. Really? You got treachery? Jace, Teferi, and treachery? Yeah. All right. That's exactly what we were afraid of, unfortunately. They have two cards in hand, and that's the exact card we didn't want them to have. Yargle, bargle. Uh, I'm play a gut. <laughs> Come on, Dillon Mace. Get it together. Man, oh man. I liked it better when I had the the Archon of Cruelty. I don't think I, there's any, any cards I have that can actually get that back from them. Sneak attack. Oh, yeah, we knew that was there. Oh, yeah. Sure. <sighs> David, thank you for the resub, buddy. I just thought she's like, you can have it. Well, I'm definitely playing this guy. Is that okay? This is a blood tithe harvester, man. Ain't that big of a deal. No? Okay. Do you have a way to draw? Oh, yeah, you can currency converter. Sure, you know what? Whatever. Might as well see what you get. Wow, that in a row was so timely, dude. Holy crap. Swords to plowshares. Got it. So they're going to Swords Reflection of Kiki Jiki. So that I can't make multiple Blood Tithe Harvesters. No? They're going to draw their sword. But they don't have any cards in hand. So, what? Wait, what? Do they just have to discard the sword? Did they not think this through? Oh dear. They, what? They thought this was Reckoner Bankbuster and not... <laughs> well, that was... Oh, look, I can't even win when they're just literally discarding cards. Hi, Wallace Wayne. Hi. Oh. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. He's very excited. He just got home. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, God. He's having a good time. Okay. Well. Let's pitch Exhum. 
Oh, that's really good. Where was that last turn? Or when I had mana. Or right now. Or any time. Oh, God. All right. Well, we're just going to pass here. We can make a copy of the Blood Tithe Harvester when they go to attack. Sacrifice that. Literally have no idea how we're winning this game, but at 19, it's... Well, we've dropped no frames. So... It, I, I assume it's just on your end. Okay, we are in the combat phase. These guys. Make a copy. Get a free bloody boy. Yep, we take 6, 7, 10, and 12. We go to 7 here. Yep, sacrifice a creature. This fake one. Discard. We can't cast Sneak Attack without a land. I guess it's just keep death in case we hit something off of Blood Token. Although death is going to kill us. Like, there's very few creatures we can actually get. Oh, um, we could death this and then death it. Molten Collapse this and then death it. We would die, but I mean, it's still a play we can make. <sighs> My kingdom for two mana. Oh, maybe I should have sacked... Uh, we couldn't, actually. If we sacked this guy, then we'd still have to sacrifice Kijiki as well. Okay, we're just basically dead here. Yep. Man, everybody had little blips. Maybe it was when Wally came on screen. Maybe Twitch just couldn't couldn't handle him. Oh my god, stop doing things. It's too bad this doesn't destroy an enchantment, am I right? Alright, we get like two draws. Necromancy? No, that doesn't do anything. Thoughtseize. <laughs> Thoughtseize. Yeah. No... Would fall Primus. Uh, all right. Well, let's just go to the next game. Do we have anything against a treachery? Could just hope to hard cast an Ugin, to be honest. We have 16 lands, Mana Vault, Dark Ritual, one is an Ancient Tomb. Baleful Mastery also seems good against their Planeswalkers. Unfortunately, like, all of our cards are very good. Like, we already have Bitter Triumph and Molten Collapse. And Mind Twist. I think we just submit like this. I don't know if any of these other cards are really good. We just have to draw a like, great combination. Last last game was great when I when we had, like, Mana Vault on turn one and turn two. But, like, like we just didn't have anything to do with the cards. Jeez. Got Hunter in here now. Just a dog parade, am I right? Uh oh. Oh, he coughing. Um, this is actually interesting. This is a turn one cycle troll into turn two reanimate. Or yeah, and then we can actually play turn three shouldered if we I was gonna say if we hit a black source, but it's very clear we're hitting a black source. So we have to go black source here. Cycle, Necromancy to reanimate into Shieldred. Mm. 
zeal until no i don't want to do that in case they go like black source thoughtsies or something you know green and skull clamp fascinating do we just get swamp here i think we just get a swamp i don't want to take a million damage especially with an ancient tomb That's fascinating. I mean, turn two, six, five ain't terrible. Also, shouldered against Skull Clamp seems pretty decent on turn three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shield just turns off Skull Clamp or uh, Sylvan Library. Oh, yeah. This game is probably over. Sylvan Library, I dare you. <laughs> Draw two more. Please. Oh my god. You absolute maniac. Okie dokie. Go to eight. And I got a six five. Take two? Okay. I don't know what's going on here. You gotta have something pretty decent, right? That's good. That'll do. Okie dokie, one, two, three, four. We only have one red, so. Yep, that was good. If only I got that blood crypt, you know? We could have just killed him right now. Sad. So now the question is do we Grave Titan? with sneak attack or just cast it balance that's amazing had to have balance yep <laughs> well i just lose this that would be amazing i would be so so thrilled Is that you in there? Okay. I heard things getting shredded in there. They're going to five. Eternal Witness. Get back time walk. Sure. Balance. Still laughing at balance here. So timely. Yep, go to eight. <sighs> There's a lot of suspense here. Can we win? I don't know. They have one card, actually. That's pretty good. They didn't do anything. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> 
So they go, we have no way to deal one extra point, right? I'm sure they're gonna block with Celestial Colonnade. Oh, these guys don't get haste either, so. We should have played this untapped in case they bounce this. That's going to be a mistake, I bet. Sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. So they just get to time walk again. Does that kill us? I don't know. We got a six. Wait, they they attack for three. Should we have maybe we should have molten collapse to kill the creature and then the skull clamp? But that doesn't like we don't. We actually don't have. They just go. Eternal witness for three. They go to four. They time walk again. None of nothing we have really. Yep, just didn't expect cryptic command as their last card. How how convenient. <sighs> it's frustrating. Yep, think we just lose here. They attack for one. They put us to seven, four, five, six, and then they have exactly seven on board. And I can't get over, like, not getting that Blood Crypt actually change the course of this game. If we had two red in play right now, like, we wouldn't have to... We would actually have been able to play this guy sooner. So next time they're just going to go one, two, three. Guy, time walk. And attack for one, putting us to seven. Then they have three power on board and a Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, this just doesn't do anything here. Oh, I didn't even play Blood Crypt. I think we're just resigning ourselves to our fate, unfortunately. They did not crack their clue. I think they're just playing it safe here. Maybe they'll pick an extra card. Yeah, this sucks. Um... I mean, I feel like they had to have balance. They had to have time walk and like exactly balance is what they needed because they had three lands or something. And then like they have both Skull Clamp and Sylvan Library, which are turned off by sh turn three Shieldred. So I don't know. I feel like it's hard to get luckier than that. I mean, we had no real reason to Molten Collapse this first. Yeah. I mean, we could have a removal spell for this... Celestial Colonnade, they don't know. If this was Bitter, bitter Triumph... <laughs> Or Baleful Mastery, we win the game. Oh. Interesting. So we're not dead. Wait. We get another turn. I was... Uh, wow, I thought they were going to colonnade for sure and just try to kill us. 
oh, okay, so they're going to play free Mox Pearl as their literal last card. Blink this guy, get back Time Walk, and then Time Walk. Perfect. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Please play the lottery. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.